I am Pedro and this is Orfeo's News. So we are here today with Bobby. Bobby Crispy. Hi Bobby, how are you? I'm oh, great. Thanks for having me. Bobby is known for his YouTube channel of Guitar Lessons. So to get to know more about Bobby, let's go with some questions. So where are you from and how old are you? I'm from Brampton, Ontario. That's just outside the Toronto area. Yeah, I was born in the same year as Woodstock. And when did you start to play guitar? Okay, I seriously started playing guitar when I was about 15, but uh, there were always guitars hanging around the house because my brother and dad played. So I'd always just like pick the notes anyway. But uh, yeah, when I was about 15, I saw the, the Us Festival on TV, like Quiet Riot and Judas Priest and Ozzy. And that really got me going. I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do. So that's how I started playing uh, seriously. All of us have one. Who's your favorite guitar player? Yeah, I really don't have a particular favorite guitar player. My first favorite guitar player was Carlos Cavazzo from Quiet Riot when I was 15 because that's what I was listening to at the time. But over the years I've had uh, favorite guitarists like uh, Jimmy Page, Tony Iommi, Steve Howe from Yes, Steve Hackett from Genesis, so it all depends uh, I guess when I was, uh, how old I was at the time, what my favorite guitarist is. But, um, at this particular time, it's just a little bit of everybody, I guess. This is an old controversy. Which do you consider is the best guitar solo ever? Okay, the best guitar solo ever? Um, okay, I'd probably say Stairway to Heaven, but that's a little bit too predictable, and a lot of people probably already think that anyway. Uh, probably the best one of all time is probably uh, Freebird by Leonard Skinner. I like the way it just goes on and on and on. Um, but there's also like uh, Paranoid by Black Sabbath, Sunshine of Your Love by Cream, Crazy Train by Ozzy. A lot of great solos out there. Did you compose your own music? Okay, I got a lot of my original music on my YouTube channel. Can you play a little bit for us? Um, when I come up with the original, I like to like, play around with, with the chords and arpeggios and Take a basic chord and move it around a lot, like that, so or an E minor. So this is something I've been playing around with. There, that's one of my originals. Why did you start on YouTube and when? Okay, I joined YouTube in October of 2006. Uh, someone emailed me the link to the Canon Rock video, and that's when I discovered YouTube. And uh, that's how I discovered there was all these uh, guitar videos on YouTube by people posting them. So I thought, well, maybe I could just get myself a webcam and I'll post some of my guitar videos on my own. So I did that, posted a few original songs. Then I noticed there were some guitar lessons. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll try a guitar lesson and see how it goes. 
So I posted my very first guitar lesson. It's called uh, Fast Runs on the Guitar. And I got all kinds of hits and a lot of positive feedback. So I just kept making more and more. And that's how it started with the, uh, the guitar lessons on YouTube. Do you have a favorite lesson of yours? Okay, my favorite guitar lesson video that I've made is the heavy metal scale. I guess it's because it's a term that I came up with and it's my most popular guitar lesson video. It's just the harmonic minor scale. That's all it is. But uh, actually it's funny because one time somebody left me a message. It was a, a guitar teacher from a music store and he left, left me a, a comment on, on the video. It was something like, uh, don't call that the heavy metal scale. I have people coming in and wanting to learn the heavy metal scale, and I don't even know what that is. So I thought, I thought that was kind of funny. My last question, what tips would you give to guitar beginners? Okay, the best advice for beginner guitar players would probably be to learn how to read music, because then you understand how music works, instead of just trying to figure out where to put your fingers on the guitar, and chords, and scales, and all that. You understand how music works. So you go to any guitar store, any music store, they have lots of books on how to learn how to read music through the guitar, so I definitely advise that. Also, YouTube videos are good for learning how to play guitar and solos and all that, but uh, you should definitely take lessons one-on-one -on -one with a guitar teacher, because then they can spot your mistakes and correct them, and a video can't do that, so I definitely advise that. Well, that's all. We are very grateful to have you here today, Bobby. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye. Thank you.